Are you planning on visiting or moving to Indianapolis soon? Looking for neighborhoods similar to this on the north side of downtown? Also want to know the best places and stays in Indianapolis, Indiana? Here we go. In this video, I'm going to show you the best places to visit and the ideal places to stay. So if you think you're going to visit here soon or if you're thinking about moving to Indianapolis, stick around for some cool suggestions and some great ideas that will prepare you for your transition. Welcome back to my channel. I'm John Kim. I'm a broker with Everlane Realty Group here in Indianapolis, Indiana. If you are new to my channel and want to learn everything about living here in Indy, Consider subscribing and clicking that bell notification because I talk about a lot of cool stuff pertaining to Indianapolis, Indiana. These tips are great for someone like you that's interested in finding out where the best places to visit and best places to stay. Okay, here we go. With over 250 acres, the White River State Park is located just on the western side of downtown Indianapolis. It is a definite must-see area, weather permitting. The park is family and pet friendly. It's clean and well-maintained. Take a stroll on the Central Canal and rent a bike at many of the bike stations along the park. Or enjoy cultural venues like the Indiana State Museum of Science, Art and Culture, Idle Jord Museum of American Indians and Western Art, White River Gardens, and the Indianapolis Zoo. Or if you want to spend a low-key day with the family, make sure that this is one of your stops on your itinerary as it has fantastic views of the White River and also the city skyline. Finding parking is a bit of a challenge when there's multiple events going on in the city, so please plan ahead when you're planning on visiting this area to find parking spots. Another suggestion is to find parking above ground as it's a lot more cost-effective than some of the underground park. Also, if you don't want to mess with parking, we recommend staying at the JW Marriott. JW Marriott is on the White River State Park property, all within walking distance. Visit the vibrant cultural area of Massachusetts Avenue, which is located northeast of the downtown circle, and it's also commonly referred to as Mass Avenue.
Mass Avenue is actually one of the four diagonal streets that leads directly into the center of downtown. And along this strip, you'll see unique eateries and locally owned eclectic shops, restaurants, bars, and pubs. For urban adventures, explore the city by bicycling on the Indiana Cultural Trail, which is eight miles in and around downtown. This also connects to the popular Monon Trail that heads north east of downtown and goes uh, directly north into Broad Ripple and on up to Carmel and on past the city. The Indiana Cultural Trail is about eight miles long that uh, winds through downtown um, and into some of the historic neighborhoods. Again, after the eight mile trek, and if you're still feeling adventurous, hop on the Monon Trail Connector right at the northeast of Massachusetts Avenue, and you can stroll straight up uh, past the state fairgrounds and on into Broad Ripple, and you can spend a nice afternoon there as well. Broad Ripple Village is a trendy and popular with young professionals. You'll find laid back community vibe with quaint cafes, culturally diverse eateries, shopping, and lively mixture of pubs, restaurants, and bars. In and around Broad Ripple, you'll find uh, older homes that's been renovated to kind of fit that Broad Ripple vibe, and it's a great area to search for your next home or and some of the smaller homes are great investment properties. While um, if you're focusing in on that Broad Ripple area, we would suggest Hotel Broad Ripple. It is located uh, along the Monon Trail. Broad Ripple is located just uh, in between downtown and popular suburbs like Zionsville, Carmel, and Fishers, about halfway uh, in between. If you're uh, really not wanting to commute every day, then Broad Ripple would be an excellent uh, area to search for homes. The Indianapolis 500 is located just 17 minutes away from the world-renowned Indianapolis International Airport. The Indianapolis 500 starts in May and all the way until the 24th of race day. In that time frame, you see a lot of the shops uh, and restaurants and a lot of activity in that quadrant. It is located northwest of downtown. Nothing compares to the greatest spectacle in racing than seeing it in person. Also, be sure to book your tickets early as prices increase after May 1st. The sound, the power, and the adrenaline is definitely something uh, that needs to be experienced and very unique, and I suggest everyone has a chance to watch the race in person at least once in your life. Aside from the racing, you'll also see a lot of celebrities in the stand up close. If you are in Indianapolis, you'll either want to join the festivities or altogether avoid the area as it becomes very congested during this time of year. If you choose to join in the festivities and actually attend the race, we would suggest booking your hotel rooms at least a month, maybe even a year in advance as most of the hotels in the city and surrounding suburbs are all booked during this month. Another thing I would suggest would be to look at a lot of the uh, Airbnbs and home rentals in and around the Speedway area. If you plan on attending the Indianapolis 500, we suggest that you book a hotel near the airport and maybe take the hotel shuttle, Uber, or Lyft to and from the race during this time of month. Also, as you uh, enter the race speedway area, do plan on walking quite a bit as the drop-off areas will be designated. And again, this track is 2.5 miles long and it's uh, quite a bit of a distance uh, from where your drop-off points will be at. Again, if you plan on attending this race, um, I would suggest hotels in Brownsburg, Avon area, Plainfield, I'm on past to Lebanon, even to Whitestown. Again, Carmel and Fishers, uh, that are so popular, they also get booked up during this time frame. Uh, so again, book early and be prepared for massive crowds during the race month. Attend a Colts game and take a tour of the Lucas Oil Stadium. As a multi-purpose state-of-the-art facility, you can also attend Monster AMA Supercross Racing or NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Regional Games or a rock concert in this 1.8 million square foot facility that opened up in 2008. There is an enclosed pedestrian walkway that connects to a lot of the major hotels to include premium hotels like the Westin, JW Marriott, Hyatt Regency, the Omni, Crown Plaza, Union Station, and NBC Suites. Also, we suggest staying at the Alexander, which is about four blocks away from 
a stadium and has a lot of restaurants and bars. Uh, this hotel also has a lot of fun decor and a lot of cool art. I hope this video helps you decide areas to visit and possibly stay while you're here in Indianapolis. And again, please feel free to call or text or email me, and I would love to help you with your search and fulfill any questions that you may have. Also, be sure to click over here and check out some of the other videos about uh, Indianapolis and uh, the surrounding suburbs in, in hopes that it helps you find your next home. Again, feel free to call, text, or email me if you have any concerns. Please comment down below for any future videos that you'd like to see. And also check down below in the description for all my contact information. Again, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and uh, I will see you next week.